Vasanth, I am preparing for Adobe interview. How much DSA should I need to prepare? Should I need to work on graphs or not? Vasanth, I am preparing for Microsoft interview. Should I need to be practicing trees? Should I need to be practicing linked list? How much DSA will be asked? Vasanth, I am preparing for Mac companies. Will I be able to crack them with the help of just JavaScript coding in JavaScript? So these are the most common questions that I will get very often. Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Asant. I hope you're all doing well. In case if you're seeing the first time on the internet, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear their interview. I made a lot of beautiful series in the past, which has been appreciated by many. And link to those series will be in the description. Also in the, uh, somewhere in the video, I'll link them. So this video is super important. This is something that uh, I did not do intentionally. This is after hearing a lot of questions on this particular topic, I decided to pick this. So what is the questions? So a lot of people ping me in LinkedIn and also they add comments in my uh, Medium blogs and also in my YouTubes asking, wasn't I'm front-end developer, should I need to be preparing the data structure and algorithm? In case if I'm preparing for data structure and algorithm, which language should I prepare? Should I use JavaScript? Should I use Python? Should I use Java? And I'm applying for some XYZ company. Data structure has a lot of things, right? So how much DSA should I need to be preparing? Like, should I need to prepare graphs, no graphs, in link list, double link list, circular link list, should I need to be preparing or not? So these are the common questions that I get um, in, in, by a lot of candidates, especially not just the freshers. I get these questions from even from mid-range and the experienced persons also. So after hearing a lot, and I still understand there is a lot of confusion among the candidates while preparing, and this is making them not to clear a lot of interviews. So in this video, I'll burst all the myths and I'm not like a superficial guy who will tell like, uh, uh, it depends, uh, you may have to prepare, you may not. I'll clearly give you a strategy how you have to be preparing given you are applying for some XYZ companies, what all data structure to prepare in which language will be good for you. All of that I'm going to explain step by step in this video. Okay, so please watch the video till then, whether you are preparing for tier one companies, MANG, Tier 1 without MANG basically. There are a lot of Tier 1 companies which are not MANG. And Tier 2 companies, Tier 3 companies, all the, no matter whichever the company you are applying, the, which has data structure algorithm round, I'll explain pin by pin, step by step, everything that you need to know about the data structure and algorithm. Okay. Please watch the video till the, till the end. You won't be dissatisfied. Okay. Now let us start. I've created a, some simple chart. Okay. And this chart will be available in my GitHub repository. So link to the my GitHub repository is in the description section. Okay, now. So basically, I, I have created this cheat sheet, so which contains all the information that I think is relevant. Okay, now, what are the common data structures that we have? We have array strings, data, uh, array strings, stack, use, link list, trees, and gaps. These are not only the data structure. Obviously, there are so many other data structures and uh, subtopics inside each data structure. But I'm just sticking on to the extreme fundamentals. So these are the most generally asked uh, uh, high-level data structures in the interviews, correct? So now, let us um, uh, decode by step by step which companies you are applying and what is relevant, okay? Now, let's say you are applying for tier 1 companies, okay? So, tier 1 companies as in tier 1 plus MANG, okay? You know what is MANG? MANG means, refers to Meta, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. So, these are become one of the most uh, aspirational company for a lot of software engineers. I am not so much uh, into that. I have written a lot of LinkedIn articles why I'm not so much inclined towards Mang. Not that I don't want to join, but the artificial uh, buzz that is created by a lot of companies, I'm against that. Anyways, people who are preparing for Mang, I'm not against them. If you go, if you get a chance to work for them, that is wonderful. So what you have to prepare? So like I mentioned for Mang, sky is the limit. Uh, reason being there is nothing particular data structure and algorithm if you prepare let's say you prepare link list and array and you are you'll be good for mang i can't say that because mang is something where they don't hire a specialist they generally hire the generalist who know all the things and they can manage uh, in whether in data science front end back and all of that so basically they don't have with my uh, experience of reading a lot of blog uh, glass door and many other lead code interview experience and all the other forums there is no pattern as such that you can uh, expect in mang like for example front and they'll ask you only link list and arrays, nothing like that. They can ask anything and everything. So if you're preparing for Mang, leave out, uh, give out the thought that I'm going to prepare some data structure. Prepare every data structure that is possible. Go to lead code, solve as many as problems as possible. Start with easy, then medium, then hard. Make it a ritual, like how IS candidates prepare, preparing for UPSC will do like for a few months. Like that, you have to make a ritual, uh, prepare and practice them. Okay, and memorize. So that is what I'm gonna suggest for Mang. So which language you prefer, if you're a front-end developer who only knows JavaScript, my recommendation is you better learn Python. 
not that only python if you are inclined towards java c sharp also is fine why i am saying this is lot of discussions in the lead code and other programming uh, uh, test uh, sites happen uh, with respect to java or python okay you will not be able to get all the code in javascript and converting a code from one language to another language will take lot of time okay uh, let's say why because whatever the syntax that is written in java may not be relevant in javascript so you may have to add more checks so this will unnecessarily take lot of time of yours so if you are preparing for mang i would advise just don't stick to javascript in preparing for data structure algorithm you can use javascript or python python is my recommendation because both are scripting language you find lot of similarity not only python let's say you incline towards uh, c sharp c++ or java java python javascript is what i prefer but if you have inclination towards some other uh, languages also which are popular you can also uh, work on those language but don't just stick to javascript it will be difficult for you to get a solution for a lot of problems okay now so this is about the tier 1 with mang okay there are a lot of tier 1 companies which i can tell which are non mang okay for example adobe microsoft okay there are there are many tons of other companies which fall in the category of tier 1 uh, tier 1 tier 2 here i'm just bifurcating depending on the salary not because of the work they do not on the basis of uh, how uh, their market relevance etc purely depending on the package i uh, categorize them obviously mang gives the highest and tier 1 non mang also gives an equivalent salary correct microsoft or adobe they are they are no less they also give you a lot of good salary so if you are preparing for microsoft and mang this kind of tier 1 and non mang you can prepare for these uh, particular data structures whatever i have mentioned here correct so arrays strings stacks queues linked list and trees what you can skip graphs you can skip with my experience of attending lot of interviews and reading lot of uh, interview experiences online definitely you can skip the graphs why i'm saying uh, skip the graphs graphs lot of candidates face difficulty and you end up spending lot of time analyzing the graph and practicing the graph and still you won't perform well in the interview so rather wasting that time you can spend uh, time on other topics which are relevant okay so uh, this is you can stick to this so do you need, uh, need to learn python or any other programming language with this also i don't recommend i mean if you want to learn you can learn why because generally these companies do not give so much importance for data structure algorithm obviously they do give one round or two round will be there but they generally uh, will be in queues linked list stacks array in this range only they'll be able to do and lot of uh, solutions in this categories you find in javascript gigs for gigs if you all know now they have a javascript solution for almost all the problems so just by knowing javascript should be sufficient but we cannot fully say like uh, microsoft and adobe also can sometimes accidentally ask some difficult questions correct in such cases it is it may not be you know, may not be able to find that solutions in javascript so preferably i say javascript should be the first priority but you have ample amount of time for preparation then you can pick another language like python java or c sharp okay but i don't advise learning javascript should be sufficient to clear the tier 1 and non mac okay you find lot of solutions for most common problems in javascript so you'll be able to practice okay now see i hope you are enjoying the content whatever i'm making here and if so before you watch uh, continue watching please like the video and comment whatever you feel about the video it's because i have a noble cause of helping people to clear the interview uh, if you like and comment youtube things people are liking and it will show for lot of people more impressions means more likes and comments uh, and i'll get more visibility with more visibility i can reach more people so your like and comment will help me so please like and comment and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon thank you so much let's continue the video next is the tier 2 companies so uh, like i mentioned here tier is just depending on the salary nothing depending on the work they do or on the market presence or how big the company or employee strength so tier 2 company basically here i'm picked few examples like oracle hp all these companies okay so which are obviously not in the premium segment of giving the salary but they are really doing a good work okay there's a lot of uh, they are all product based companies and many would like to join these companies correct so in this companies with my experience of giving interview again reading the interview feedback you can limit yourself to linked list entries this should be more than sufficient you don't have to even go into trees and graphs uh trees also sometimes they will not ask you can restrict yourself to linked list but if you are in the end of learning you can go till trees and you don't have to learn beyond that but compared to tier 1 non mac tier 2 companies will have a very very easy round of interview compared to the tier 1 um, non mac so what you can prepare you can go to the lead code and practice all the most common interview questions of that particular company most likely you are going to get those questions only 
uh, not like whatever asked in the past but most common medium questions let's say um, spiral matrix or number of islands converting phone number into some textual uh, phone number combinations converting number into a textual format so these are the most common questions whenever you hit lead code so practice all the common question and company tagged questions so that should be more than sufficient in general case but it's not like you solve 10 problem and then you go and at an interview no should solve 50 100 problems then you can easily get that mindset but my recommendation is you don't have to worry on preparing for very high data sets like graphs and trees you can limit yourself to link list but additionally if you get a time you can go for the trees as well okay now tier 3 companies and below tier 3 obviously means a lot of service companies i'm not naming because some companies do may get offended because of that word so any company all the service company and product companies probably not startups they're just kind of in the mid-range and they're not able to scale all those companies come in tier 3 so they rarely have a very tough link a ds algorithm you very well know correct so in such cases you can just limit yourself to array string stacks queues and linked list linked list should be the highest they will ask they generally don't ask beyond linked list because first of all they are not give will not be giving you a very high salary and second of all they these relevance in the company will be very less don't ask whether relevance of these in the other companies are more uh, obviously they are not but simply they for some filtering criteria they ask but in these kind of companies uh, which are tier 3 companies obviously the relevance is most minimum so they will not focus a lot on the restriction algorithm so practicing array strings and queues and link list should be more than sufficient link list is also like an add-on if you are good at array sensing that should be more than sufficient okay so now i'll, I'll be adding this uh, entire chart in the, in the description now go ahead and uh, uh, keep place it in somewhere wherever you're preparing interview now it is not it correct for example i've listed only couple of companies in tier 2 and tier 3 so for example you think the company that you are applying is for tier 2 and not tier, tier 3 correct and you prepare only link list and trees and you leave graphs so that don't make that as your strategy this is something with my experience of attending interview and with lot of uh, feedback that i've read on the online so what you need to do because this this video is not eternal all the time this may not hold good let's say it, it, now adobe have listed in tier 1 non mang so tomorrow it may become mang people may um, uh, make it in the get it in the mang list like m a a n g they may make correct so in such case what uh, to make the video relevant for all the time you have to do one thing go to glassdoor or a lead code interview uh, experience keep checking what is the uh, latest question that they are asking you may not find all the time but you have to continuously uh, check in that case you will realize what is the most recent question so whether the standard has increased or the standard has reduced there are a lot of companies where the standard reduce over a time because they can't find the right fit for the that particular role so they'll reduce the standard so keep a watch on that and get a sense what kind of question they are asking okay depending on whatever the question that they are asking then uh, try to uh, uh, prepare for those data system algorithm don't simply spend a lot of time in preparing for a lot and that at not at all last in the interview okay so this is my advice uh, regarding the entire thing so keep this particular image somewhere on your desktop or somewhere so that you always whenever you prepare dsl go you you keep this as your target what to prepare and which language to prepare and how to prepare like i mentioned tier 2 and tier 3 javascript should be more than sufficient if you learn javascript tier 2 and tier 3 you can clear all the direction algorithm problems and now very important so i have also made a data algorithm detailed tutorial so the link to the tutorial i'll put somewhere on the screen also in the description section i've i've completed till the link list i uh, i'll be doing further uh, tutorials on trees and graphs so subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever i upload those videos you get a notification okay thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like the video on youtube channel and add whatever the comment like if you're liking the video not liking the video uh, you don't agree with the whatever i have done please mention that in the comment section i'm open for uh, constructive criticism and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe this photo is will be present in my github repository download so link to that in the description please follow me on medium i write actively uh, at least one article per week which will be very much helpful for uh, for the interview preparation so you can uh, follow me on medium and subscribe to my newsletter uh, thank you so much for watching catch you in next video